Hey guys, it's Sid with svtperformance.com, and no, you're not seeing double. We do actually have two Bronco Raptors here. Of course, we have our personal Bronco Raptor that we've been building up on svtperformance.com, you know, doing Whipple Tune, Whipple Intercooler, SPD downpipes, all the good stuff that's available for the Bronco Raptor performance-wise. We've added to this one. You guys have seen it on the channel for over a year. If you haven't, go back and check it out. This has got all the good stuff. The fastest, most powerful Bronco Raptor in the world. And it was also the first one delivered. But Ford was nice enough to drop off this beautiful silver one so we could do a little bit of comparison and do a little bit more driving. So we're going to have a, quite a few videos over the next little bit on these couple of different Bronco Raptors and some more stuff. So if you don't want to miss out on any of that kind of stuff, subscribe. But first things first, I want to just give you guys some driving impressions because even though we've had this one for nearly a year, I don't think I've shot a video I'm just driving around and talking about how these things actually ride and handle. I've done all that with like towing, campers, and out on a drag strip and stuff. We actually took this one out, uh, one of my favorite little off-road areas here locally. It's a little nature preserve, so check that out. We're out here on one of my favorite local trails. I realize I have not given you guys a full driving review of a Bronco Raptor. I've been driving mine around for nearly a year at this point but we've been covering towing and drag racing and adding modifications and all that but i've not really just done a little trail drive like this so ford was nice enough to give us this one so i figured why not just come out to one of my little favorite spots and we'll hit up some nice little sandy spots and things like that this area is not nearly as aggressive as a lot of off-road trails but it's just one that's close to my house and it's through a beautiful area of natural carolina bays if you don't know what those are look them up they're these weird geological formations that are kind of only found in this this area of south carolina but it's a really neat little area and it's a good place to bring out something like this and just enjoy a little bit of time on the trail as far as how the Bronco Raptor handles stuff like this, I mean, it's a cakewalk. You could take a Subaru down this road. It's no big deal. I mean, there are some spots, especially if you get off the one side or the other, like this, where you got loose sand. But as long as you stay over here on the harder pack stuff, it's no big deal. If you want to see some real loose sand, we did take this thing out on the beach. So uh, let me show you just a little bit of footage we have from that. An absolutely beautiful day out on the beach with the family curie beach north carolina look at that beautiful sunset out there absolutely fantastic bronco raptor has been great in the sand as you'd expect this stuff has dried out and it is your sugar sand consistency but this thing is absolute beast looks fantastic with the doors and roof off not a problem in the world tried it in every different off-road mode i mean lockers sway bars disconnected all that it's it's overkill this thing will go anywhere and it, it's fantastic love it i mean just look at this beautiful that's why you have a vehicle like this is to come to places like this absolutely gorgeous great day hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of video footage we got from it can't wait to do it again 
So as you can see, when you get into really nasty stuff, you're going to want to use your uh, Baja mode or something like that where you can put it in four wheel high, lock the rear diff. I like uh, go ahead and disconnecting the front sway bar. I think that helps a little bit, especially in really soft sand. But this, I mean, I'm just riding around in two wheel drive. It doesn't require anything significant. As far as the ride quality, it's not bad. Uh, it's definitely a little jittery, but that is just kind of par for the course. Uh, a regular like F-150 or something, it, this road's a little bit rough to be running the speed limit, which is 25 miles an hour. You might want to do it a little slower than that. But the Raptor just soaks up any of these bumps and everything. The big difference I would say with other off-roady vehicles, especially uh, Fords, if you would compare this to say an F-150 Raptor, the longer wheelbase of an F-150 Raptor does make for a smoother ride at on high speed um, off-roading. It just does. But as far as Broncos go, this is as good as it gets. So you can see there's a nice little spot of soft sand and the Raptor just eats it up, even in two wheel drive with the diffs open. So the big thing is it's cool to just come out and enjoy nature like this in the air conditioning because it's 91 degrees outside where August in South Carolina, it's still really hot. That's why it's cool to take it out on the beach, get out in that ocean breeze. Power wise, this one's stock. You, know, you guys have seen me for the past year running with the Whipple Tune and everything in mind, Whip Winter Cooler. We had a JB4 device before all that. We've thrown the kitchen sink. Anything that we can get, we put on it, including uh, down pipes from SPD with uh, Jesse Katz, you know, the best we can get as far as that kind of stuff goes. I haven't gone any deeper in the exhaust than that because I really like the sound of the factory uh, adjustable exhaust. I like the way that works out. There's no little bit of just soft stuff. You can see it soaks it up pretty good. That's a ton of fun to just wheel this thing around through here. There's a few trails in North Carolina where I could take this and it'd be a little bit more aggressive. The ones I would really like to take it on in West Virginia are just too tight. The Bronco Raptor is way too wide for that. I'd like to get a two-door Bronco if I could find a Squatch package, especially with a manual trans, and hit some of those. I'd love to take you guys on that and let you see some of that beautiful area of the country but a bronco raptor is just way too wide for any of those trails f-150 raptor is too you might be able to get a ranger raptor on some of them but even that may be pushing it but as far as it goes riding around here this is awesome the brakes work great even in sand uh, they will the, the ABS will kick in and get you stopped in a hurry if you need to. Uh, you've got all the traction in the world. The BFGs do a pretty good job in sand. Of course, the more and a more aggressive tire would bite in more, but you've got to watch yourself, especially in uh, the Carolinas like this, because when you get in loose sand, typically there's no bottom to it. It's you're going to dig a hole to China. Uh, or basically until you're buried up to the frame rail and then you're, you're done. You're going to have to get pulled out. So there's a balancing act as far as how aggressive you want to get with the pedal. Uh, you definitely want to keep your momentum up. This stuff is, of course, it's hard packed, so it's no big deal. But uh, out on the beach, you want to keep your momentum going. Uh, we didn't have to air down. Uh, I didn't feel it was going to be necessary because of uh, the condition the sand was in that day. It had rained the night before. But if it had been dry for like a week and a lot of traffic out there churning it up, we might have dropped air pressure down to, you know, 18 or so pounds, something like that, just to get a little wet, wider footprint, even though you're running a 37, 12, 50, you want to get all you can get uh, in that kind of situation. And you definitely don't want to be spinning your tires because you're in a situation where 
you're in really loose sand and there is no bottom to be found in any of it, if you start spinning your tires, you are going to get stuck. You just want to keep your momentum going and being smooth. It's just like driving on ice, smoothness. That's Or driving on a track, smooth is fast. The, when you start jerking around and wheeling hard, that's when things will go sideways and you can get hung up. Of course, we don't have to worry about any of that out here. The thing I'm more worried about here is somebody on a dirt bike come around the corner and uh, find the front bumper, which would not be fun because we're a little ways away from any kind of help and I don't need to be in court uh, unless I'm getting paid anytime soon. So, But as far as wheeling around in this Bronco Raptor, it's pretty good. I would enjoy it more if it was 30 degrees cooler out and I had the roof and doors off of it and could just enjoy nature a little bit. But right, right now I'm enjoying air conditioning, so <laughs> that's kind of where we are with that. Do I feel that this thing needs more power for this? No, not really. Where I enjoy the power we've added to our Bronco Raptor is on the street, even towing. But the big thing, I mean, as soon as I got in this, I'm used to driving mine around for the past year. As soon as I got into this Bronco Raptor, I realized there is one reason almost above all to tune one of these things or any new Ford that's so equipped and that is to get rid of that annoying auto start stop feature. I hate that. It's inevitable that I forget to push that little button every time I get in this thing and it just it annoys me to no end and having a Whipple tune they turn that off. You don't have to worry about it. That is one of those things that annoys me to no end. So getting a tune is worth it just to not have to hit that button every time you get in a vehicle out on the pack here man she just rolls the suspension soaks up all these little washboard areas and it gets decent mileage i've been seeing around 18 miles per gallon that's basically what i've saw out of the past 8,000 miles in mine it's pretty good and believe me, this Bronco Raptor has been used. This one's got almost 12 and a half thousand miles on it, driven by automotive journalists. It's not their car, so you can imagine a rental car version of a Bronco Raptor where the drivers are encouraged to go out and use it hard. This one's been used pretty hard, and there's some evidence of it underneath. I noticed uh, on the, um, the factory muffler it's dented in pretty good. So somebody's been in the rocks a little bit, I think. But she's still not squeaking or rattling or anything like that going on. It's held up really well. Even the seats are holding up pretty good. So I'm actually going to do another video on that, comparing the features on this one to the features on my Bronco Raptor because I ordered mine in a very different spec than what this one is. This one's pretty loaded up. And I just wanted to show you guys all that, the differences between one that I feel is more oriented for this kind of stuff versus this one. Mine's a little slicker, but that's another video. If you guys wanna see that, please subscribe. I hope you enjoyed this little cruise around, seeing some beautiful areas of South Carolina and this nice public land. If you got something like this around your house, definitely take your off-roady type vehicle to it and just get out and enjoy some of this stuff. But please do not litter and ruin this kind of stuff for everybody. It looks like everybody out this way has been pretty respectful, but I've taken you guys on some trails in the past that um, I was very disappointed in the locals throwing trash out, but this one's kept in pretty good shape. So hope you guys have enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time please like share subscribe and you know all that good stuff if you're interested in this shirt or any other svt performance merch we've got that on the store it looks like these guys are going out for a hike and i do not want to do that in this bug infested swampy area we got these hats on the store a bunch of stuff coming up crazily enough we have hoodies yes it is 91 degrees out but decided to go ahead and order some hoodies because it's going to get cold sooner or later so if you guys want one of those really really nice svt performance hoodies we have those things 
they sold out uh, the last run we made of them and I did sort of like a half run this time so we're not going to have a ton of them but if you want one if you missed out last time check out the SVT Performance Store the link's in the description as always head over to svtperformance.com I've got a ton of pictures and other stuff of this Bronco Raptor and all the videos are posted over there I want you guys to check that out I think you'll enjoy it links in the description below svtperformance.com and we'll see you next time